What's up, y'all? In today's video, I'm going to be going over a fragrance called Gorse from Laboratory Perfumes. But before we get into that, I'd like to thank you for clicking on this video. I know that right now are some pretty tough times, and I just want to say thank you for taking your time out of your day to click this video. I know that there's a lot going on right now, and I know that there are probably some better things to be doing outside of watching uh, fragrance reviews. But um, I just want to take this time to say thank you for everyone that, that's currently working, everyone that's staying inside, staying home, and doing their part to do what they can just to stay safe and keep their family safe. I just want to say thank you. But yeah, let's get into it. y'all the fragrance that i have here today is called gorse from laboratory perfumes this is one of the five fragrances that they have to offer they uh, also sell candles so they sell um, fragrances and candles the five fragrances that laboratory perfumes carry are amber samphire tonka atlas and gorse one of laboratory perfumes main focuses is first doing no harm to the earth they also source all their ingredients within 130 miles of london they explain gorse as a crisp and zesty citrus with a coconut note and a hint of cardamom one thing that i've always found, found kind of cool is the storytelling behind a fragrance and instead of you know just simply putting the notes the creator we can put a story behind it some of it seems a little elaborate and a little overdone but sometimes it's pretty cool for example this fragrance is meant to embody the drive from london to province and the smell of the gorse flowers upon arrival to uh to province and to kind of it, it kind of invokes the beginning of a vacation which brings you next to the actual fragrance itself and just so you guys know i got this bottle right here of gorse from myfragrancesamples.com nowhere in the united states sells this outside of my fragrance samples so like you can't go on to like a u.s retailer and find this it's something that you would have to buy from overseas but as you guys can see i've worn this pretty heavily i've worn it in the, in the cold weather the warm weather enough to get a really good feel for this fragrance so in the opening of this fragrance i get a lot of citruses there is a a bit of a um citrus van vanilla kind of vibe to it um with an, like a, like an over like overlay of coconut which as by the thumbnail as you can tell is why i made this video now this in my opinion will be a great substitute to virgin island water by creed they both have that you know vacation kind of vibe to it like um almost the sunscreen kind of vibe to it this doesn't have it quite as much as that does though yes it does have that same kind of feel to it like it does kind of resemble like a suntan lotion but it's not me at least it's not quite as bad as it would be for the virgin island water back last summer when i was wearing virgin island water it was like literally putting on like sunscreen like like the the spray on sunscreen whenever I wore version on water and then when I got this it was like a game changer for me so like this was what I put on when I wanted that vacation kind of feel and I wouldn't even put on the version on water I would reach for this every day of the week if that's what I was going for like that kind of fragrance pretty much any kind of coconut style fruity style fragrance I was reaching for gorse and not version on water and so you guys know the only two notes in this fragrance are going to be your gorse flower and cardamom which I don't get a lot of cardamom there's not that spiciness to it if anything for me personally the cardamom adds like a bit of like a makes the citrus more of like crisp I guess versus adding really any spice to the fragrance and just a little insight on the gorse flower it is native to the uh, British Isles and Western Europe and right now at the end of March and into April uh, is when the gorse flower it blooms and creates the scent that they're trying to create here that uh, that vanilla cream like coconut style fragrance that this is said to smell like. I'm going to wear this in the first 30 minutes to an hour or so is when I get that creamy coconut vibe from it. And I actually get decent performance from this fragrance, from the projection to the longevity. But where for me this this really shines is in the sillage. The scent trail that this leaves behind me has, get, has garnered me so many compliments. Mostly indoors though, this scent didn't last the best on me outside in the heat. The heat kind of made it cut back from typically lasting anywhere from like three and a half hours to five hours is what this will last on me on skin inside and outside it would, could last me anywhere from say an hour and a half to three hours so there was a pretty drastic change in how well it performed being inside versus outside the heat really affected this one a lot and the projection on this fragrance it didn't really fill a room when it like shock a room but you want to walk in a room and it turned heads immediately but for me personally it kind of surprised me i knew that this fragrance at about arm's reach would reach someone that's in front of me and not in an annoying way it it would just be a pleasant citrusy summer style fragrance this is pretty much how someone would smell that had just left the beach with um and they applied their coconut sunscreen or the, the, the like sun lotion and they left the beach and they're you know riding home or whatever this kind of creates that 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 almost salty suntan lotion but not overly doing it in that sense it still has that nice citrus to it that is still really enjoyable without it coming off too much like sunscreen and like i said with this in comparison to cream version of water is a lot less of a like exact smell of someone wearing a coconut style sunscreen or or body lotion and to me honestly this has a cool story behind it it's obviously version on water is meant to kind of represent that island or that area and and that you know tropical style this is meant to literally kind of be someone's 
like memory of a vacation, which is I thought was really cool. Now, if I were to create a vacation fragrance, it wouldn't necessarily be something like this because I'm not in you know super tropical area with a lot of coconuts. Mine will probably have some more like pineapples or something, you know, aquatic, not like Creed Aventus, maybe. M maybe a little like Creed Aventus. I'll probably make a Creed Aventus clone. But hey, that's why I'm not making fragrances, right? So the scent rating that I give for Gorse is gonna be seven out of 10. The scent makes me happy, it makes me feel good. It's great for the dead of summer when the heat is up really high. One downside of the scent is that it's not for like everyday wear in the summer. Like this, I don't see this being anyone's signature scent for the summertime. Like how certain blue fragrances, for example, can be worn, you know, heavily in the summer and the spring and be kind of like a signature scent. This is more or less one. It's not dedicated for vacation really, but it, it does have its own place. Like I said, it performed okay inside. Outside is a different story, but even in the summer, I'm primarily inside. I'm still working in the summer. I would probably just reach for different things on the weekend if I were outside, just due to that, you know, slight bit of performance issues in the heat. And next will be the price. For under 100 bucks, you can get a 100 ml of this. So for the rating on the price, I can give it a 9 out of 10. It's for the quality of the fragrance, the scent itself, and the story that's behind it. And like I said, there aren't any US retailers that sell this, but you can go on to myfragrancesamples.com and pick up a sample size of this. I believe they sell them in larger samples of this and smaller samples of this. I'm not sure the exact size of this one is, but that's where you can get this from. And all right, y'all, that's that. So I've been waiting for a while to give you guys this review of this fragrance, just because I know that now would probably be the best time to, to do it just because now's the time that the flower's blooming, you know? But guys, that is that. Um, if this has been somewhat informative, awesome. Uh, if you have tried this out and you've enjoyed it or, you, or if you tried it out and have disliked, comment down below and just let me know. Guys, like I always say, keep it gent and let her scent and I will see you all next time. Y'all, please be safe out there.